What is up, guys? Um, so, I am on my way home from Drug Mart. And I don't know if you guys know, if you guys have Drug Marts, I don't know how <clears throat> all over the country they are, but here in Ohio, we have them everywhere. Um, and my last video that I posted was firing up my, my new Forge. And, um, I don't want to put my seatbelt on. Um, yeah, so the Forge works great. Really, really good. The only problem is it's a hell of a lot bigger than the last one that I had. And what would have been enough charcoal in the old Forge was not enough in the new Forge to get a good bed of you know, red hot embers, uh, you know, so I had everything out and everything set up and blowing and, you know, I tried to get a good hot, it just, it, it wouldn't get the knife to critical temperature, um, so I had to jump in the car and, well, after calling my neighbors to see if they had any, but, you know, uh, February in Ohio, well, actually, technically March, today's March 1st, um, you know, not a whole lot of people are stocking, you know, uh, charcoal in their garages or, you know, whatever. I ran out from last year and not a whole lot of grilling going on this time of year around here. Um, but... Thank goodness, a couple miles up the street was a drug mart, and I happened to catch it before they closed. So I am cleaning my window. No, I am in business. Um, gonna go home, dump a whole shitload of charcoal in the forge, get this baby heat treated, and get her cleaned up and into the oven for tempering and I'll probably be up till about two o'clock in the morning getting all this done because uh, well I guess I just wasn't prepared um, so yeah I'm gonna get home here I'll be home in a couple of minutes and crack a beer because guys I'm telling you what there's nothing better than firing up the homemade forge at night because I've tried doing this during the day and not only is it not the optimal drinking time, um, it also, nighttime lends itself to much better um, heat treating in my opinion, um, just for the simple fact that you can really see when the steel is hot and ready you, know, you almost don't need the magnet to check for critical temperature. I, of course, still do. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's nothing better, man. I got the, I got the charcoal with the uh, lighter fluid already built in, so, I don't know, I'm weird. I really like that smell. So you got the, you know, it's cold outside. It's snowing a little bit. You got the forge going with that nice smell. Nice cold beer. It, I'm telling you guys, it doesn't get no better than that. Um, so I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.